Humana Story. Humana Story was built out of the need for human companionship, a togetherness that only comes from people helping others. We wanted to be able to tell our stories and share our expressions with everyone who needs them. By us telling our stories, we're able to share that moment that forever changed who we are. But the idea is not just to tell our story, but to share the journey in how we overcame that moment in our lives, allowing others to read and see the story and connect to the one sharing. Most people want to tell the horrid things, but fail to share the accomplishments. At Humana Story, we are not those people. We are strong, the winners, we are the achievers. We believe that sharing our experiences will help someone out there in the same situation and allow them to connect with others that have already conquered their struggle. We give the resource within our stories to help those who otherwise would fall. The help to stand up and face what is in front of them without fear or doubt. We believe everyone has the ability to succeed in life. If you are alive on this little rock hurtling through the endless void we call the universe, you are a Humana story. How much of one is up to you? Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Humana Story Live's Coffee with Humana Story episode number 45. Today I am joined by Tom and Jerry, and if you'd like to join in on the conversation as well, simply log into our current Humana Story Live thread and give us your best shot. If they're good, I'll read them on the air, and if they're bad, we'll make Tom and Jerry read them on the air. Coffee with Humana Story is the unscripted show who is created by members, for members, and involves Humana Story members. Today, we have two special guests, Stephen Richards and Mark Sargent. And if you can't find the show, you're probably using a pencil cup somewhere in the Sahara off-grid. But more importantly, the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap, so eat more bologna. Callers can call in at 1-619-798-6307 if you're in the San Diego area or just don't care about long-distance charges. You can also Skype us at Humana Story for a worldwide connection. Messages will be heard and aired during the show. Be sure to let us know that you're referring. Coffee with Humana Story, episode number 45. Stop by our website for tomorrow's show today. If you have any more information on any past shows, simply send us a message contacting us on the Contact Us page. Can't make it any easier. Today's theme is Fantastic Friday, or Flat Friday, number 7. Today's question of the day, can you think of 10 other things that are flat? And without further ado, let's go ahead and bring everybody in. I'm joined by Mark Emke, Christina Klein, Mark Sargent, and Stephen Richards. I think I got his name right. You did. I did. Two out of th- I did. the third time. <laughs> I finally, finally, finally got it. So, what ten other things can you name that are flat, Mark? Sergeant? Well, that's easy. How, how many? A lot, lots of things. Flat. In fact, not just flat. I, I'll do flat and round. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> Go, going all out? Yeah, let's let's do flat and round. Uh, like a frisbee, a dinner plate, a pizza, a coin, a discus from the Olympics. That's five. That's five. Uh, a manhole cover. Six. Uh, I'm trying to think of fun stuff. That's a, a lot harder to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it it's not that. No, it's not that bad. A uh, um, a dartboard, CD, CD. You're not supposed uh, to help it. Sorry, that's, that's eight. Dartboard and a CD. Uh, two more that are round. I'm doing round and flat. Um, I already see a cookie. Nope. Uh, you know, I, I. What do you want me to go back and check? Hold on. No, no, no. It's nine. And, oh, what's ten? What's ten? What's ten? A crap. 
what's a good ten? Uh, something round and flat. A archery target. Oh. <laughs> you were stretching for that one. I was on that one, but but that's round and flat. I mean, there's tons and tons of flat things. I mean, you know, there's square and flat, there's oval and flat, there's rectangle and flat. We have flat surfaces everywhere. Yeah, we uh, do. But... Porcelain. So, okay, I actually wanted to get caught up, find out what's, what's all been going on. Um, so what's been happening with uh, you, Mr. Sergeant? What have you been up to? What's going on? I know you're drawing closer to your awesomeness that is a show. Yeah, yeah, the daily show uh, the, called The Flat Earth Show with Patricia Steer and I. Uh, should be, we're coming up on the end of March, so it shouldn't be very much longer, maybe a couple more weeks. And then that'll be on the Flat Earth Network, which is in the process of being built. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, the book is three weeks old. You guys already knew about the book, though. The I, apps... I know it had a French thing. It had a French oh, audio, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, um, uh, Orphan Red is working on the audio version for French and possibly even the written version of French which is kind of nice. We don't have a Spanish person yet. The app, there's a third app. So uh, there's an app for the Android. There's an app for the Apple, for the Flat Earth Clues. And now there's a, a secondary app that right now is, I think, for the Android. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's out on iTunes yet, which is called The End of the World. Uh, and what he did was the, the makers over at uh, iMobilize created an app based on the survival guide that I did called uh, em- Empty Shelves. I did it a couple years ago and I was giving it away for free to people and he said, hey, it's a pretty cool read. Maybe it might come in handy for the end of the world. I go, hey, fine, do what you want with it. So he made an app called The End of the World. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Well, yeah. you don't have a mug. <clears throat> no, I, I have a mug. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't sent me a mug with that uh, with that cool globe on it. You haven't sent that to yeah, me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I have one. I have it. You know what? I don't worry. I you'll get one. Don't you. worry. You'll have to drink it on air, too. I don't care what people think. I Y'all don't... need to just, yeah, get over it. He's That's my buddy. Fun. That's what buddies do. <laughs> buddies support each other. So, Steven. What's up? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, hey, that's, hey, that's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say to you. Okay. Um, well, we all, well, I was going to say, you know, you're in the shadow of Mark Sargent here. So it's oh, like, I feel really bad because he was like, I have a book. We're making a movie. And uh, <laughs> so is, what, that, what, is that the gay you, version of me saying that, by the way? <laughs> excuse excuse me. Hello. <laughs> As a television I, I series, <laughs> George Clooney might be playing me. So, okay, oh, wow. I, uh, I, I wish. <laughs> so, okay, what, uh, what have you been up to? <laughs> I guess I don't know. He just what have you been up to? You, you just made a video, right? Two videos? I made one two days ago. I just made one today, and I'm currently working on, like, a four-hour 9-11 documentary. Right on. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, I haven't even got any script for that yet. I'm just working on notes right now, and I've got half a notebook filled, so it's going to be... Do you have a title for it yet? Oh, absolutely not. No, we're not even there yet. (laughs) (laughs) Stephen Richards Richards in the (laughs) four-hour documentary (laughs) (laughs) 9-11. Yeah, I almost slipped into that man for a second. (laughs) 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 Okay. <laughs> Hang on while I get more gravel to gargle. <laughs> it's... All right. So I'm completely out of things to talk about. I forgot. No, what I no, saying. no, You no. guys threw me all no, no, off. No, no, Thanks no, a lot. Because Stephen and I can talk. Uh, the the nine eleven thing, by the way, my my favorite nine eleven aspect wasn't all the 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 super cool weird stuff like the uh, uh, the no planes thing, which I didn't buy for a long time. Uh, or the ener- the direct energy weapon. My favorite thing still is that Building 7, not that it went down after, you know, the, even though no planes hit it, but that British um, uh, television team reported it going down 20 minutes before it went down. Oh, yeah, she was didn't just talking they... about it. It was right there in the screen. Yeah. Didn't yeah, they and... find yeah. one of the terrorists' uh, 
But didn't they find one of their passports like in oh, front yeah. of the building? Yeah, yeah, right in front, it, unburned. Yeah. yeah, it fell right to the foot of a FBI agent conveniently. He's like, yeah. oh, it's got to be him. <laughs> now, even though I knew that the the why the British reporters did it because I was a big time zone guy because you know, I time and attendance software and I knew they just got their time zones wrong when they were when they were trying to announce when this thing happened. What I think would have been better is if if they were even off after that and like let's say the building was falling as she was announcing it that would have been brilliant and nobody could have ignored that because you know you can see this thing collapsing background she's talking about it's like wow that's really good timing how did she get that so perfect it's like well she well didn't. okay so here's a question i have on that whole subject is okay do you guys think that three thousand people died i mean it could can't it be a conspiracy with people still being killed Oh no! I think people died. So yeah, real people, because 3, you got to 000. have an element. There were there were people. Uh, let's put it this way: the people that I mean, Photoshop wasn't that old at the time, and there were. I still believe there were people in that building. Now you got to question why there were so few people in the building. One, but then there were people jumping out the windows. You That's know, saying, insane. You know what? Yeah, and that that got pretty damn creepy. And some of those photographs, I absolutely believe, you know, that they were just, you know what? Screw well, it. didn't they have a building? There was like a government building there, Building Seven, that collapsed as well. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Mm-hmm. That was building yeah, and seven. that's yeah, that building itself is a. Uh, it was what I don't I don't know CIA four, run four, or something. It, like yeah, that. yeah, the CIA was in the basement. It had forty eight stories, and it wasn't hit by anything. Yeah, and then it but... caught fire and <laughs> just collapses. Away, and then just collapses <laughs> at free fall speed. You know, just it didn't a... didn't crumble. It just fell. Yeah, yeah, it's not a dead giveaway or anything. Floor. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So what uh, I'm sorry, Stephen. Uh, you were gonna so tell us about your two videos that you were making. Oh, that we I... were talking about nine eleven and thanks a lot for getting us all started on that. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm here for. Um, yeah, but I just made a video the other day, um, basically, it's basically just another, like, 20-minute rant, 10-minute rant, just unscripted, just kind of threw a bunch of pictures together, a couple videos, and just started talking. That's what the last two have been, and, uh, honestly, I think that works a little bit better than taking notes. I already got all the notes down in my head, it's just getting them out to the, to the computer, which is getting easier and easier as the days go on. You know what I'm talking about, Mark. I do. I do. It's so. Uh, do, do you have more questions than answers? I mean, that's what's happening with me. Ever since I started talking to Mark, I start oh, questioning I've... my sexuality because I'm not sure where I stand anymore. <laughs> oh. I <laughs> I look in the mirror Yay. and I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I. Is, eh? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I I don't. <laughs> I do know what you mean. <laughs> there can't be two. Kermit the Frog says there cannot be two Batmans. What's uh, what's Kermit doing in this movie? (laughs) (laughs) I have no cool voices to throw in there. (laughs) Christian Bale's Batman is easy. I so and people (laughs) made fun of him when when he started doing it. I was like, you know what? That's an easy one to do. Because you, you just, you literally, you sound like you got something stuck in your throat. Is that my boy from American Psycho? It oh, is. Yeah. Christian Bale. Wow, oh, he's my, he is the bomb. Oh, like, that's, that, wait, that's my <laughs> Huey Lewis bomb. wasn't with the news. Huey Lewis is the news. Oh, it's, what? That's what he Crazy. says right before he kills a guy in his living room. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I only saw that movie. <laughs> he just turns up Huey Lewis and. Anyway, yeah, Christian I Bale's watch a, that uh, one. A talented guy. And of course, so, this week, Christian Bale would be saying, What's Ben Affleck doing in this movie? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? We got all these superheroes. We can do it. We can do it. We got this. We got Kermit the Frog. We got Kermit Batman. the Frog, a superhero, is he? <laughs> it's, it's a stretch. <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> we got the Flash. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I got a feeling it was Mark thinking he was naked. Oh, you know, we got two <laughs> We got two Marks here, so this is just going to really get interesting. Oh, it's Tom. Tom. Oh, yeah, it's Tom. That's right. I'm Tom, Tom and she's Jerry. Right. That's right. Right. That's right. I, my bad. 
So Brian, you're still uh, you're still in that stage where your mind's being blown by the whole flat Earth concept. You know, I I I can't find anything that says it's like you get people. Excuse the French, but you get people complaining. You like that? I didn't use bad words. <laughs> you get people that are com- complaining's a French. <laughs> what, what is? Yeah. That? Well, yeah. I was <laughs> gonna say something else, French, but I changed my mind. I, I. I can't find any evidence, and it's like I, people still tell me, "Oh, that's stupid. You're you're going nuts," and it's like, but where's the proof? <laughs> where, where is the proof that it's round? You can give me all the math and all the science you want, but I understand that math and science can be manipulated to fit anything. You know, if you want it to fit a statistic, you if you search hard enough for it, you're gonna find it, and. I'm trying to find the actual truth. You know, is it really out there? Is it flat? You know, is it round? But you can't really get any answers from people because when you talk to people, they're either downgrading you or don't want to just be open and honest. And I really think that's kind of misleading, and I think people do it on purpose. But on the same token, we only have eight seconds, so you guys are going to have to wait till the next segment. Humana's story is the story of humanity, one person at a time. We believe each person has a story to tell, and each story shapes that person into who they are today. Collectively, and more importantly, each and every person's story shapes this little blue rock we call home. We are all together whether we like it or not. We also believe that your unique story might just help someone else traveling down your pathway in life. You might be their guide through this rough time. We are always looking for more exciting stories to share with the world. If you've got one, come share it with us today. And welcome back. Coffee with Humana Story episode number 45. I have Christina, Mark Emke, Mark Sargent. And Stephen Richards. Because we can. And it's time to ask to answer the serious question of the day. Can you think of ten things other than flat earth that are flat? And by Mark's account, round as well. So, well, you already answered all ten, so you don't get any more. However, uh, Stephen... <laughs> hasn't given us but one. I think he said CD. Well, yeah, but he can do just flat. I mean, oh, how, how easy oh. that's flat. Okay, give me ten flat things, Stephen. Uh, all right, here we go. A notebook. <laughs> Notebook's not flat. What are you talking find, about? Find the oh, find I, I, a composition notebook. Where are you flat? Composition notebook. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a, a table, pretty flat. A TV okay. screen. I'm just scanning the room right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are you on? Three? I think you're on three. No, four, because you got CDs. Get the CD before. Um, my Xbox is flat. Oh, shit. Not too much more in here. Just that everything in our house is flat. The door is flat. Yeah, the door is <laughs> flat. The walls are flat. The ceiling's flat. <laughs> the, the floor is we, flat. We do a lot of flat stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we, we Nothing's rounded here, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, there's no, there's no symbolism in it. I bet there can be a conspiracy against that. Conspiracy. In fact, the no, only really. spheres really are uh, sports equipment, and you know, other than the globe models, uh, any sort of sports equipment, other than say like a rugby, rugby ball or uh, American football. You know, you really do have a point. And uh, the occasional disco ball, which. You know, <laughs> We don't have to get into, and <laughs> that's really hey, it. Hey, what else? What? Donut holes. Donut holes. A donut holes are well, they're not spheres; they're round. <laughs> but but like uh, and the occasional light, a uh, light fixture. But really, how how many other times do you see spheres? Well, and you do have say, a point. Well, people say, "Well, there's planets." And it's like really, really, really. <laughs> really? That's that's <laughs> what you see the spheres. Okay, so all right, so. 
Uh, let's talk about uh, Steven and uh, talk about what you got going on here in the wake of uh, Sergeant's. He's going to become president or something. I don't remember oh, what no, 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 no. Wow. <laughs> no, no. You know what? I have a We're question. President, huh? It actually came out in the news. Uh, there was a major reporter that was talking to, I don't know if it was a campaign guy. It was one of the like big guys that does the polit- politics stuff. Yeah. And he openly admitted on open air that the normal person doesn't really have a say. Really? And the reporter came back. I'll, I'll find it and I'll, uh, I'll give you the link to it. I'll see if we can, wow. we can find it again. I, I just, I don't remember all the details. I just remember going, holy hell, because he well, openly you... admits it. Yeah. The ever, the on air, and the reporter stopped him and went, wait, what did you just say? And he goes to repeat it, but he goes, oh, never mind. <laughs> the, the first rule of power in in the rules of power. I mean, forget about the golden rule, but the first rule of power is true power stays hidden, uh, which means anybody that controls presidents and heads of state, they're usually uh, behind the scenes. They they pull the strings because you never want to give the public that the, the rule is never put yourself in a position where you can be overthrown. So what do you think of this Donald Trump thing? Because he's paid for his own. Well, well, at least that's what it, that's that's the running thing here. I mean, is it? Yeah, it, it, it so doesn't. It, does. it does. It doesn't really matter because either way, both sides. I, I think I said this in the last thing I did. Where either way, you're you're paid for. Meaning, again, here's here's the argument which I try to throw at people, and that is, if if you're a billionaire, the, the it's a trick question. Which is, who do I give my money to? It, my for the presidential race, Republicans or Democrats? And people will argue about that, and it's like, no, no. The answer is both of them. I will give both of them the same amount of money because they don't care. They, their, their, their allegiance has nothing to do with who you know who I give the money to as long as I get the money. So if I give each of them a million bucks, I get an audience with whoever becomes president. And I you know get to have golf with them and do everything. And if I give $10 million, you know maybe I spend a weekend in the Hamptons with them. Who knows? But the point is I spent $10 million to do that. What is the average person on the street do they do nothing so what should they expect nothing uh, and i'm that's not me trying to be a, a downer or anything but it's you know it's the illusion of choice and that is as long as people have the illusion of choice they will respond pretty well and that's like well okay i'll pick for the lesser of two evils which in this case is going to be hillary clinton and, and donald trump which by the way is the first time ever i've seen people talk openly in the streets saying i i don't i wouldn't vote for either of them <laughs> it's like i've never even heard that before uh, so we'll see. We'll see. But they're both bought and paid for. Absolutely. Don't don't think that because Donald Trump has his own money, he's not. You know, he's not. He's not influenced behind the scenes. He is absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think he's he's spinning words to where the public wants to hear him. But yeah, yeah. I want to find that. I want to find that one clip where that that politician says that people don't have a they don't have a say. I'll I'll link. I'll give it to you uh, to put up when you do your. But- but look how far we have fallen in that beforehand. Remember that joke that was in Back to the Future where where Ronald Reagan was kind of, he was kind of kidding around. They were the kidding actor. around in the movie. It's like the actor, <laughs> you know, because Ronald Reagan Ronald Reagan was a B a B list actor, you know, back in the day, and now we're on the verge of electing a reality show star. How how does that happen? <laughs> I mean, and think of all the reality show stars that are out there. He's he's one of the better ones, I suppose. But I mean, is it any much any, any different than picking somebody from The Voice? Brian or, Seacrest. Oh yeah, Brian Seacrest, exactly. <laughs> I mean, honestly, George Clooney. They were talking about it in an article. I'm not picking on him because he's he's a fine, upstanding man. I'm I'm saying that, that they were saying that George Clooney could run for president right now, and he'd get a lot of votes. Oh, right yeah, now, yeah, he would. I believe and, that. Even though he's single, and I don't think we've elected a single president before. Wait, you did know, he get married? this is supposed to be a flat Friday, and uh, <laughs> I, I we're talking about flat I, stuff <laughs> yes, a little bit. It, well, I guess it is. The pol- politics is pretty flat, isn't it? <laughs> um, yep. Yes. Okay, I got something else that's flat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't. Even okay, so a. Uh, Steven, you had a question that you wanted to give, uh, you wanted to Mark. shoot at Mark, right? Mark Sargent? 
yes, yes. My friend actually texted me this question the other day, and then I didn't end up being on the show. Let me just scroll to it real quick. All right. Your best shot. What do you got? All right. So, um, since we all know how the powers that uh, the powers that shouldn't be in power are, um, how powerful they are, um, how have they been able to hide such a great deception, like such as the flat Earth, from billions of people for decades? Uh, what gives anyone the idea that this will be that this will be of a sudden uh, realization anytime soon uh, for the powers that could easily just shut it down. They haven't revealed other truths within the movement that have been as large as this. Did you follow that? This is I, just me. I, 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 think, I think I did. The, the powers would be, first of all, it was easy for them to do it because most of the work was done for them because the, the the world and the big structure was not built by them. All they had to do was keep it a secret. And Antarctica did a huge amount of the work for them because it's a really, really hostile environment. You know, there's, there's nothing, there's no reason for the average person to go down to Antarctica ever. Uh, and the upper part of it was higher than commercial air traffic, way higher. So it was, all they had to do was spend the money and create a fake space program. That's all they had to do. Uh, you use some Hollywood techniques and... In doing so, that was easy enough. I mean, it, granted, you weren't going to be able to do it forever, and they did hold it together for 50, 60 years, so you give them points for that. Uh, but but it is part of something bigger. You're absolutely right. They could have shut this down, thing down. They could have repressed it. I cannot tell you how many people emailed me and said, oh, yeah, I found out about it because it was recommended for me on the sidebar of YouTube which shouldn't be possible. I mean, that's a couple lines of code that says never, ever recommend flat and earth, you know, in combination with each other ever in a, in a search or a non-search. Never recommend it. <clears throat> so they could have shut that down in, in two seconds or they could have repressed the video count or they could have, uh, you know, thrown, thrown some technical wrinkles in there. Yeah, you're right. They could, have, they could have really stunted this. And they didn't. In fact, they did the opposite. And we know this because Neil deGrasse Tyson went on primetime television and dropped the mic talking about it and right it's it's has the there anti- been anything else in the news that's been going on no not for the last 30 45 days or whatever there's some interesting things though and that is you're seeing more and more what i found was that in fact i found, just found out today that more and more people news people are using flat earth as a term they're working the term in to other stories basically the, the term flat earth is being used in place of general craziness and, you know, calling people flat earthers or members of the flat earth society, that sort of, you know, the, the whole Obama thing. More people are starting to use that. They're, they're hitting any chance they can use it because it's fairly new. Uh, it's considered really ridiculous. They're working it in. And I think even that is subtle because it's still getting, get putting the, keeping the term in there. Even though it's negative, people are still knowing, you know, that it's out there. Uh, so, yeah, it's... I, it's it's this is this is still a setup. The the flat earth is a setup for something bigger. So it doesn't have to be this big reveal. All it has to do is be part of a, even a bigger reveal, which would be your choice, either some sort of celestial event like a, a fake planet X thing or a fake invasion or a fake you know coming out party for some sort of race of, of beings that this would be the, the a great foundation for that. Because Not in my that's... city. It isn't going <laughs> I know, <happen>. right? <laughs> <laughs> <They're> aliens. <laughs> yeah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I... Oh, beam me up, Scotty. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> that's weak sauce, bro. bro. You, gotta come, you gotta come strong or not come at all. Are you, are you <laughs> To even science. <laughs> nice. The uh, anyway, so yeah, that's why I think it's going to be a bigger part, of something else. Because it, why? Why wouldn't it be? Because yeah, if because if you let flat Earth just come out by itself, then you run the risk of a lot of horrible, horrible things, like the biggest class action lawsuit in history, uh, the academic institutions being turned upside down, the economic institutions being turned. I mean, it would be it would be chaos for a while if just that came out. So it's got to be, it's got to be part of a, a combination, combo. Right, I know what you're saying there. It's got to be, it's got to be part of something bigger. When, when see, do you uh, think the, the governments? 
Sorry, what, Steven? Did you say? Did you see Bob back on Twitter tweeting about all the, uh, the flat Earth and Illuminati stuff again? No, that's excellent. Yeah, he's about a week ago he started tweeting again. I was like, oh, here he comes. And oh, he's been I, firing away. Well, he should because he he already announced his tour dates. He's going on tour. Is he oh, wow. performing a song on tour? That's or? what I was wondering. As a I, first thing, it's like, I'll is he going to be? <laughs> I know he's coming to Seattle. If he's performing Flatline, I may have to go. Oh, you might have to do a little live event there. Oof, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I don't know if they'd actually. Well, they might. Well, I mean, if you invited me backstage, I'll bring my phone just in case. But, yeah, if he performs Flatline, I would definitely show up because why not? It's, uh, it's it's still waiting for that third celeb, whoever it is. Who's going to make the move and defend B.O.B.? I'm really surprised <laughs> nobody has you. We already because. know who it's going <laughs> to be. I'd love to see Joe no, Logan I... slip on the uh, flip over again. Joe? Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. No, you don't <laughs> want that? No, no, because his credibility is shot at this point. Because he could flip right back. He'd be well, like, hey, you're going you're gonna to do a du- you're gonna go from a double agent to a triple agent? And then I like, think he's just going to be like, well, screw it. This is what happened. I'm sorry I lied and then lose his job. Well, but I want everyone to uh, say their goodbyes. Uh, Bye. Yeah, because I'm going to cut you all off now. You guys bore yeah. me now. Goodbye, Mark Sargent, and bye, Steve Richard. Bye. Thank you for having me on the show, guys. Yeah. Bye, Mark. We love you, man. Bye, Mark. Bye, Bye everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, everybody. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Kermit the Frog here. Story thanks you for listening and your activity with our community. We hope to grow a little each day. With-